The iPod is a big reason Apple is the company it is today. But it seems the iPod itself is shuffling away. In a blog post, Apple noted that the experience of taking one's music library out into the world has been integrated across its product line and that the iPod Touch would be available while supplies last. In other words, after more than 20 years, the world apparently doesn't need iPods anymore. But make no mistake, the iPod is a huge part of the history of technology and culture. The original was introduced in October 2001 and allowed you to carry an awe-inspiring 1,000 songs in a six and a half ounce device. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs and it goes right in my pocket. Then we got the iPod mini in 2004, which was roughly half the size, followed by the iPod nano in 2006, which could hold up to 2,000 songs. And we can't forget the iPod shuffle or the last one standing, the iPod touch. So, think you might want to buy one while supplies last? Or is the iPod ready to take its place in the dustbin of history? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to follow the Bikini Report for more daily headlines.